Is this thing on? Oh God. Why do things keep falling? Mm. What's up everybody? It's your girl, Kat. I am back with another one. Ooh. A couple months ago, when Blue returned from his training, Blue is my dog. Blue is about a year old. I got him when he was about five months old, and when he hit around seven months, he started to show signs of aggression. So I sent him away for training for five weeks. He came home, and everything was, you know, definitely improved. We are still working through a few things, but it was definitely worth it. But an issue that I had with Blue before I sent him to training was breaking out of his crate. Originally, we started with the wire crate and that's what we had for a long time. He broke out of it multiple times and there were a couple times that he broke out of it that he harmed himself. One time we came home and his entire right side of his body was covered in blood. It looked a lot worse than it was. He did have a gash on his cheek. He was probably just so terrified and so for his safety and for the safety of everything in the house I was like this is just not going to work. Now mind you Blue was a f***ing huge dog. He's big. One of my issues was trying to figure out what would fit him. The trainer that was with him for the five weeks recommended a Dakota 283, which I will put right here. I will also put the price of the Dakota 283, which dog products can be very, 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 very expensive. And these crates are no exception. These crates are probably the biggest price point for a dog other than training, because his training was much more expensive than this crate. I bought the Dakota 283. Mind you, I had not seen the Dakota 283 three that he was sleeping in. This is the crate that he used for five weeks at his trainer's house, okay? When I got the crate, I took it out of the box and I was like, something's not right. I was like, this is way, way too small. And I thought that maybe they sent me a large instead of an extra large. I had checked impact crates, which were too expensive. Gunner kennels weren't big enough. Dakota 83s didn't run big enough. He doesn't make a mess out of things. He doesn't pee inside the house when we're gone. Doesn't chew up things when we're gone. And I did set up a few cameras to just kind of monitor him, but it's very nerve wracking when you leave the house and you want to check on the dog every five minutes to make sure he's not anything up. Okay, you know, I work from home, so I'm here most of the time, but just in case I did have to leave for an extended amount of time, I would not feel comfortable leaving him in that. Then I started looking into other options. Well, after a long, long, long search, I ended up going with this brand called TNC Crates. TNC Crates is something that I had never heard before, and it actually took some deep diving to find these crates. They are 100% custom built crates. There's lots of different customizations that you guys can do. I'm extremely excited to show you guys. I feel like people are gonna look at me and be like, you're insane for spending this much on your dog. Let's just say I'm making an investment that's going to keep him safe and keep me with a secure mind, so I'm not thinking, what is he doing? What could he possibly Possibly get into and it's good to have your dog crate trained it's extremely important and it's good to have something safe that your dog cannot break out of so I had an eventful Halloween I ended up going out to the curb it got delivered yesterday and I wish that I would have brought it inside with the mailman but I was basically dead in the bed and my mom had him bring it up onto the porch so but now we've run into an issue and you guys are gonna freaking love this one yeah, I can't fit it through my door. So I was expecting something much smaller. I need to figure out what I'm gonna do. Cause I honestly have no idea. Okay, the top is off. So I'm gonna be really careful. Ah! So you see the door? Oh my God, this is so nice. Ah! Okay, so this is where we are now. Most of the box has been taken off and this is the mess that I'm left with. I just wanna get this thing inside. It is so beautiful. What's up everybody? I just got back from the eyelash place and I got my lashes fixed because they was looking a little crazy. So I measured the front door and the issue that it was giving me, the crate would fit if it wasn't for the little edge of the door that it was stuck on. Well, I do have double doors, two sets of double doors in my living room. This door does not even open. I have no idea why they made it this way. When I open this door, I can open it absolutely all the way. And then this little part is flush, okay? And I measured it and it's about one inch, one to two inches larger than the crate. So I'm hoping I'll be able to fit it in through one of these doors here because they are the same width 
both of them are. I'm gonna drag this back through the gate, bring it in through the back door, and hopefully we'll get it safe and secure in the house. Oh my God. Oh, the colors look so good together and I knew that they would. You've got this beautiful blue or this cracked black with the blue on top of it. Oh, ah! okay, I gotta get this to the back. Okay, I got it down the first step and now I need to get it down another few steps. Time to pull this thing over here. <laughs> this is so unorthodox. They really did not tell me that it was gonna be assembled when they sent it. Like, oh my God. It's by the door. I cannot believe I just did that, my dog. I am sweaty. I haven't gotten it in the door yet though, so wish me luck. Oh, I locked the doors. Are you kidding me? It's definitely gonna fit, guys. Yes! Uh, Who's a bow? Look at my baby in the sun, though. Oh my god! But you know what? In the sunlight, it doesn't look like it doesn't look like it matches as well. This is more of a turquoise, and this is more of a not a turquoise. Either way, it's gonna be in the house, obviously, because I can't even get through the front door. <laughs> Success. Time for the real test. Oh my gosh, <laughs> yeah. What do you think, huh? Go get some treats. You feeling calm, Paul? Other Paul? Good boy. I think he's a little nervous. It's been a while since he's been inside of a crate, so. I paid a lot of money for this crate. Here, I'll get it. Oh, here, you know what's up? Yes, no, maybe so. Yeah, it's a big boy crate. Good boy. All right, well, we're having a couple issues getting in the crate. Working on it, though. Good boy. Lasted a couple seconds, huh? A doggy's best friend, eh? All right, so what I'm gonna do, every time I say kennel and Blue listens and goes inside the kennel, I will reward him. Even if he comes right back out, we're just trying to get him comfortable. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Nice, he ate a treat in there. That's a big step forward. Good boy. So we're gonna keep with this routine for a little bit. We'll try to enter in and out a few more times, but as of right now, things are looking great. But I ordered handles for it. I got oval shaped vents because that's what, oh, I scared him. You're okay, buddy. That's what you had to get to get the 10 year warranty. 
Now TNC crates does make regular doors with only one latch, but since we've had problems with him escaping, which he never tried to escape, not one time when he was in training. And I think that's because of the type of crate that it was. He wasn't so exposed that he had less anxiety. So I'm hoping that he doesn't try to break out of this at all, but for a crate that's so expensive, it was worth the extra. I believe it was anywhere from 50 to $80 extra to get the second latch on the door and to get the circular holes on the door. This is how it looks with the rest of my house. It's a little bit of a mess because I've been busting my butt trying to get this thing in. The dog looks happy, so that's all that matters. So oh, I did think that I was missing something because I bought tie downs to go with this so that when I put it in the back of my truck that it would be secured. With it being this big, I'm gonna always need somebody to be with me to, to move it around. There is an extra wheelie option that you can buy, like a dolly. I believe it was like an extra $200 so you can wheel it around easily. I did get the lifting handles, which made it a little bit easier. I'm thinking that dolly might be worth the $200 investment. We're gonna see. I'm gonna hang out with him for a bit and I'm going to try to take a good thumbnail and we will see how everything plays out. So there's a few differences behind me. It's been kind of a while since I last came up here. And look who decided to join us. Hi, what's up big man? So I just wanted to get up here and do a little update as I am sitting over here editing this dog crate video, finally. So here we are months later, but I am actually able to give you an honest review of this crate since I've had it for quite a while now. First thing, the most important thing, has he tried to break out of the crate? Has he been successful with breaking out of the crate? Okay, two things. I guess. No. And no, he has not broken out of the crate. He has not tried to break out of the crate. It has been extremely successful in being safe, secure, something he cannot break out of. Houdini looks so innocent, but I know you are Houdini. You look so innocent, but I know. Yeah, you sleep, you sleep and be comfortable on the floor that I pay for. Yes, because you're my son, my white fluffy son. We're getting off topic, we're getting off topic. I am extremely happy with this crate. TNC was really helpful. They worked with me a lot throughout the ordering process. I changed the color a couple times. I actually changed the color right before they were about to start painting, so. But they were really understanding about everything. They were really cool about everything, and they got my crate to me in a timely manner, and so far it's just been great. I literally have not had to contact them about one issue I've had with the thing. It hasn't been scratched up. It's extremely easy to clean. There's a lot of ventilation. I mean, there's multiple things that I love about this crate. I really could not sit here and tell you anything that I hate about it, other than the fact that it's big and it was pretty expensive. So we've got our handy dandy iPad. Now, like I said, it kind of took me a minute to find this brand, to find these crates. They are not a huge, huge company. Impact is a lot more popular than this brand. Impact is more expensive though. And Impact is not customizable, these are. So if you go here, it has options to build your own crate, custom vehicle crates, so you can make crates for your vehicle to fit in the trunk specifically, integrated into your vehicle. It's really insane. So if you open build your crate, it's gonna say loading shop, Da, 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 da. Here's what it looks like. And it's funny because they've actually updated it since I bought. You can choose your front door styles, the single latch, the double latch. You can add a left door, you can add a right door, a rear door, so you can have four doors on your crate. I mean, it's extremely customizable. You can add top vents and side vents, and you can change what shape the vents are. They have a textured option, and then they have a gloss option for crates. They recommend the textured option so that wear and tear doesn't show as badly over time. I also have to vouch for this. So I guess I lied earlier when I said I can't say anything bad about this crate. It hasn't scratched up, but I also have left it in its exact spot. I have not traveled with this crate. That kind of crate with the paint that I got, which was a glossy finish, it will definitely scratch up in, in certain situations. So if you are gonna be using one of these crates and you're gonna be taking it on the road a lot and you're gonna be going through a lot of wear and tear with it, I would definitely recommend getting a textured paint to stop that wear and tear from showing so much. My freaking camera stopped recording because I almost ran out of space. Okay, I started doing a little bit more research and I saw a bunch of crates with all these crazy colors and I was thinking to myself, where are they getting these from? Doing a little bit more research, you can get your TNC crate painted 
in thousands of different color options from this company called Prismatic Powders. They have a huge selection. You can also check their YouTube for different swatches so you're gonna know what the crate looks like before it gets to you in the sunlight and out of the sunlight because a lot of these colors look different. A lot of them are metallic and reflective and a lot of them look different so make sure to take note of that. If you're gonna go this Prismatic Powders route, you definitely wanna look at the swatches on YouTube. I spent quite a bit of time on YouTube choosing the right color for our house. That's actually a really big tip too and that's something that I wish that they made more apparent is that you can get way more colors than are listed on their website. You just have to do a little bit of picking and prodding. Prismatic Powders is good. Um, the only thing about it, it is going to be an additional cost if you want to get these crazy colors and paints. It might take a little bit longer to get to you by like a week or so just because they have to go and um, move it to a different warehouse to be painted I believe but either way it's a crate that you're gonna have for years and years to come so definitely worth it. I'm literally gonna have a freaking heart attack. Okay, I wanted to finish up everything and let you guys know how much I paid for this crate. Sorry, this video has literally lasted like six months of my time. I know it's only like 20 minutes your time, but whoo, it's taken me a long time to make this. I wanted to show you a bit of the crate, the condition that it's in currently with my large dog and his nails. We haven't had any breakout attempts, but of course, when Blue wants to be let out, sometimes he does scratch at the door. Sometimes you get a few scratches on the inside. We do have a few, but no scratches on the outside as of yet. I wanted to tell you guys everything that I paid for for this crate and how much it cost me in total. I ordered a crate that was 48 inches long. It was 30 inches wide and it was 35 inches tall. That all together was $1,050. And that is for the tie downs to be added. That's for the handles to be added. I had double latch doors and I had oval shaped holes over my door holes to end up making the crate escape proof so to say so that they'll give you the dog damage warranty there's a few things that you have to put on your crate to make it eligible for that and so I definitely wanted to opt for that option like I said earlier it was extremely important for us to be able to be able to rely on our crate if something were to happen or if blue were to break it because it's very expensive so originally I put in this information I put in these dimensions and I chose the colors that they had listed on the website which was I believe a white door and a turquoise body and then upon further emailing with them they got back to me pretty swiftly and I told them you know I'm interested in your other colors I was directed to prismatic powders I did a bunch of searching on that website and after a long time searching I finally found some colors that I wanted so adding those colors to my crate definitely increased the price just a bit in total with the colors that I chose I ended up paying Paying $1,355.00 for my crate in total. And this was for my whole crate and the door to be painted in disco teal, which was an extra $110. I had the whole crate painted in disco teal, and then I had the door painted over that with disco pika, and that was $95 just for the door. So in total, with everything, it was $1,255, and then shipping for the crate was $100 even. Do I think it's worth it? Absolutely. I think that TNC Crates is a really great option. They're extremely customizable. There's no other crate like this on the market and they're not very popular yet. I definitely believe over the next couple of years as they gain more popularity their prices are going to increase. So from me to you, this is definitely a good buy. Before I get off here, I wanna show you guys the crate, I wanna show you guys the condition that it's in, and I wanna show you guys what it looks like to latch, what blue looks like in it, and all that good stuff. Hi buddy, let's go downstairs. So excuse my house, and it is kind of dark outside right now, so it's not that bright inside. As you can see, it definitely goes with the rest of my house. The rest of my house is this blue tent. All of my carpets, all of my tables, all of my decor and all that crazy stuff. It goes well with the rest of the house. The top of it is extremely sturdy, so we just use this as a display. Honestly, like we use this as a shelf of its own. I've got an old hookah there, which I don't know why I haven't moved it yet. We keep his dog toys up here. It's extremely sturdy. I think my mom just waxed it the other day. So it doesn't look as clean as I want it to. As you can see, this is rubbing right off. So it just needs to be wiped, but it's extremely easy to wipe down. Handles are still good. The inside of it probably has dog hair everywhere, but he has not messed up the inside. As you can see, it looks really good in there still. The only few scratches that we have, we do have a couple here and a couple more on the door, but that's it. I got the double latch system, as I said before, so I have two latches, one on the top, one on the bottom. The only thing about this, you can't open and close it with one hand, <laughs> so keep that in mind uh, <laughs> when you have things to do, but if you just close it pretty swiftly, 
It'll lock on its own. Oh, did I lock you? Why are you? Come on, buddy. Come on. <laughs> okay. While I go investigate the ghost in my house, um, <laughs> you guys go ahead, visit tnccrates.com and order yourself a custom built crate so you can show off just like me in blue, right? We'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna try to be more consistent with my posting. I'm, I'm doing my best here. I am doing my best here. Okay, see you guys later.